Okay, others have also joined. So let us start this session. We start with this question. If one plus i by 1 minus i to the power m by 2 is equal to 1 plus i by i minus 1 to the power n by 3 is equal to 1 where m and n belong to natural numbers. then the GCD, GCD is greatest common divisor or the HCF of the least values <laughs> of M and N is, this is integer type question, let us give it a try. So here again, what you will do, the hint is that to rationalize the denominator, that is to change the denominator into real number. So you will multiply with the conjugate of the denominator to both numerator and denominator in the first one also and in the second one also. That is first is 1 plus i by 1 minus i to the power m by 2 that we will do. First let us multiply with 1 plus i in the both numerator and denominator. So this will be 1 plus i whole square by 1 minus i square. And i square is minus 1. So this will become 1 plus 1. This is 1 square plus i square plus 2i i square is minus 1. So this will become 1 minus 1 plus 2i by 2. So this is 1 1 cancelled. 2i by 2 is i. So this is what we are getting here. Now if this is to the power m by 2. So i to the power m by 2 is equal to 1. So can you tell that what is the least value of m for which this is possible? Where m is a natural number. What will be m by 2? i to the power?
it will be i to the power 4. Okay, i to the power 4 is 1. So we know that i to the power 1 is i, i square is minus 1, i cube is equal to minus i, i to the power 4 is 1. And then cycle continues, i to the power 5 is again i, i to the power 6 is minus 1 and so on. The cycle continues. So m by 2 is equal to 4, which means m is equal to 8. So in a similar manner, you have to also decide what is n. For that, what you will do, you will take this is equal to 1. So first take 1 plus i by i minus 1 and do the same thing by the conjugate of the denominator. Multiply the numerator and denominator. So 1 plus i by i minus 1 and you will see this 1 plus i by i minus 1 so it's you can first write it like this okay in order to avoid the confusion you can write it like this 1 plus i by minus 1 plus i and then we'll multiply with minus 1 minus i in the numerator and minus 1 minus i in the denominator that is its conjugate of the denominator so this will become uh, 1 plus i into minus you take common, then it will also be 1 plus i. And here it will be minus 1 square minus i square. It is minus 1 plus i whole square. And minus 1 square is 1, i square is minus 1, so it is plus 1. So this is minus 1 plus i square is, i square is minus 1 plus 2i by 2. Again, 1, 1 cancels. This is minus 2i by 2, which is minus i. Now, it is being asked that minus i to the power n by 3 is equal to 1. So minus i to the power n by 3, this is n. Another one is n. So, this is n by 3 is equal to 1. So, when is minus i to the power n by 3 is equal to 1? So, you can write this minus 1 to the power n by 3 separately and i to the power n by, n by 3 separately is equal to 1. So, minus 1 cube root is minus 1, right? So, it will become minus 1 to the power n into i to the power n by 3 is equal to 1. Now, you see that which value of uh, n you can take, like if you take n is equal to 3, this will be minus iota. Minus will come here 
and iota will come here. So n equal to 3 you can't take, then you come to 6, that is the multiple of 3. So iota square is minus 1 and minus 1 to the power 6 is plus 1. So it will become minus 1. That is again is not possible. Then you take 9. So minus 1 to the power 9, that is minus 1. And i to the power 3, that will become. So i to the power 3 is minus i. Now this will happen. So if you take n equal to 9, then what will happen? It will be minus 1 to the power 9 into i to the power 9 by 3. Minus 1 to the power 9 is minus 1 i cube and i cube is equal to minus i. Oh, again, it is not possible because it will be i, not 1. So, n is equal to 12 we take next. n is equal to 12 minus 1 to the power 12, i to the power 12 by 3. Yeah, now it is 1 and this is i to the power 4, which is also 1, which will become 1. So, n is equal to 12 is the value which we can take. So, n is equal to 12 is the value of n. First, write till here. So, M is coming out to be 8 and N is coming out to be 12. So, GCD of 8 and 12, the highest common factor of 8 and 12 is 4. So this will be your answer. Right? So we come to the next question now. The question says the region 
represented by z is equal to x plus i y belonging to complex number such that mod of z minus real part of z is less than equal to 1 is also given by the inequality option a y square is greater than equal to 2x plus 1. Next one is y square is less than equal to 2x plus half. Third is y square is less than equal to x plus half. And fourth one is y square is greater than equal to x plus 1. Let's give it a try. I'm discussing in two minutes.
okay so uh, we know that mod z is root over x square plus y square right and real part of z is x so if we simply write this mod z as root over x square plus y square and this real part of z as x so this will be less than equal to 1 so we can write it as root over x square plus y square is less than equal to 1 plus x. So this would, if we will square both the sides, what we will get x square plus y square is less than equal to 1 plus x whole square. This means x square plus y square is less than equal to 1 plus x square plus 2x. Now x square will get cancelled. Now after x square get cancelled, you keep y square here. So y square is less than equal to 2x plus 1. So if you see any one of the options, option B can be obtained from here. Like 2 you take common. So it will become x plus half. And this is y square is less than equal to 2x plus half. Write this down. Meanwhile, I'm writing the next question. If 3 plus i cos theta upon 4 minus i cos theta, theta belongs to 0 comma 2 pi, is a real number. Then an argument of sine theta plus i cos theta is option A pi minus tan inverse 4 by 3. Option B, minus tan inverse 3 by 4. Option C, tan inverse 4 by 3. And option D, pi minus tan inverse 3 by 4. So what will be our first task here? First task is to find theta such that this complex number is a real number.
So uh, if you take three plus i cos theta by four minus i cos theta. this complex number and you are saying that it is a real number right so if it is a real number so let us multiply with 4 plus i cos theta in the numerator and denominator and this will become 3 4 12 and uh, iota square cos square theta will become minus cos square theta then 4i cos theta and 3i cos theta will be 7i cos theta upon in the denominator 16 plus cos square theta. So you can write it as 12 minus cos square theta by 16 plus cos square theta plus iota 7 cos theta by 16 plus cos square theta. Now, if this is a real number, then its imaginary part is zero. So let us take the imaginary part as zero. That is seven cos theta by 16 plus cos square theta is equal to zero. So this will happen if theta is equal to pi by two, that is cos theta is equal to zero at pi by two or 3 pi by 2. These two possible values are there, pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So first write till here. I think uh, the option will match. Oh, I did a small mistake because that is why option is not matching according to my requirement. What we are getting here in the question, it is 3 plus i sine theta. This question here is not cos theta, it is sine theta. We could have got the answer for this question also, but that was very simple. Not these options, some other option. So it is 3 plus i sine theta actually, not cos theta. So that means you have to take here 3 plus i sine theta. And here also it will now change. So what will happen now is, so there is this, I wrote it wrong, the question I wrote it wrong. This was 3 plus i sine theta actually. So we get this. Now this will become 12 plus 4i sine theta plus 3i cos theta plus iota square sine theta cos theta. That will be minus sine theta cos theta because iota square is minus 1 by, this was fine, 16 plus cos square theta. So this is 12 minus sine theta cos theta by 16 plus cos square theta plus iota 4 sine theta plus 3 cos theta upon 16 plus cos square theta. So this is what we are getting. This is the real part and this is the imaginary part. And now the imaginary part, which is 4 sine theta plus 3 cos theta upon 16 plus cos square theta is equal to 0. We have this imaginary part equal to 0. because it is a real number. Now from here you have to find theta first. So from here you can see that 4 sine theta plus 3 cos theta is equal to 0. 
or you can say that 4 sin theta is equal to minus 3 cos theta or you can say sin theta by cos theta is tan theta is equal to minus 3 by 4. So tan theta is equal to minus 3 by 4. This is what we are getting. Now with the help of this you have to find the argument of sin theta plus i cos theta. What you have to find is argument of sin theta plus i cos theta. So just give it a try now. So now if you observe here, tan theta we are getting minus 3 by 4, right? So which means that theta is in either uh, second quadrant where tan is negative or theta is in fourth quadrant where tan is negative. First and third quadrant tan is positive. So both the cases we will see case 1 theta in second quadrant. So in that case, uh, sin theta, sin theta will be a value which will be positive and cos theta will be a value which will be negative. In second quadrant, cos is negative and sin is positive. So in that situation, what we get is that uh, the argument would be uh, positive negative is actually fourth quadrant. This is fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant for sine theta plus i cos theta, not for this one. For this one, we have taken the first case that theta is in second quadrant. But sine theta plus i cos theta, that complex number is now is in fourth quadrant because sine theta is positive and cos theta is negative. So in fourth quadrant, the argument is minus of delta, let us say, because theta is already used here. So we let us take delta. What is delta? Tan inverse of mod y by x, that is mod of cos theta by sine theta. That's, that This is what we say. So this will be equal to minus tan inverse mod of cot theta. So this will be minus tan inverse. Tan theta is minus 3 by 4. So cot theta is minus 4 by 3. Mod of that is 4 by 3. 
So minus tan inverse 4 by 3. This is one answer which we are getting. This is an um, argument of that complex number Z which we are finding. That is minus tan inverse 4 by 3. So minus tan inverse 4 by 3 is not given in any option. If it was given, then this could also be an answer. Now first write this, then we will say case 2. We will take case 2 that theta is in fourth quadrant. Or you can try for that also. Okay, so I hope you have tried this one. So in this, if theta is in fourth quadrant, then sine theta plus i cos theta. This z sine theta plus i cos theta. This one, z is theta is in fourth quadrant. So this will be negative and this will be positive. Someone has given the answer. Okay, let us see. Uh, A option living is sync. So pi minus tan inverse 4 by 3. Okay, let me let us see. So negative and positive. So that means this is second quadrant. 
second quadrant uh, we have uh, uh, pi minus delta that is that is the argument now pi minus delta means tan inverse of mod of cos theta by sin theta that is the same thing so that is pi minus tan inverse of mod of cot theta and mod of cot theta is 4 by 3 so pi minus tan inverse of 4 by 3 that is correct so this will be our answer a option that is pi minus tan inverse 4 by 3 correct So let us see the next question now. If A is greater than 0 and Z is equal to 1 plus I whole square upon A minus I has magnitude root over 2 by 5 then z conjugate is equal to I am not giving you the options uh, we have to find the value of z conjugate so you could find the value of z conjugate So first thing which you will do here obviously is take the magnitude of z that is mod of 1 plus i whole square by a minus i is equal to root over 2 by 5. This is what you will do and uh, magnitude of 1 plus i whole square you can write it like this by magnitude of a minus i like this is equal to root 2 by 5. Then try further, then we'll discuss. So what is 1 plus i mod that is root over 1 square plus 1 square right and the square of this and if you take a minus i mod that will be root over a square plus minus 1 square is equal to root 2 by 5. So you get uh, this as uh, to root 2 square as 2 
and this is root over a square plus one is equal to root two by five. So you get root over a square plus one is equal to uh, root over uh, cross multiply just and it will be root five into root two root ten. So a square plus one is equal to ten. So you get a square is equal to 10 minus 1, that will be 9. So a is come out, coming out to be plus minus 3, right? a is coming out to be plus minus 3. Now we know that a is greater than 0. It is given in the question. So minus 3 we won't take, we will take plus 3. Therefore a is equal to 3 we will take. And then just try further. Put the value of a that which we have got. So it is not so difficult now since we have got the value of a. So z is 1 plus i whole square by a minus i. So z is 1 plus i whole square by a minus i that is 3 minus i it will be. And 1 plus i whole square is quite easy like 1 plus 1 square plus i square plus 2i by 3 minus i. So this will be 1 minus 1 plus 2i by 3 minus i. So 1, 1 will cancel. 2i by 3 minus i it will become. And uh, we need to find z conjugate, right? So z conjugate means conjugate of 2i by 3 minus i. So this will be conjugate of 2i by conjugate of 3 minus i like this. This will be minus 2i. This will be 3 plus i after taking conjugate. Now let us simplify this because the answer is generally given in simplified form. So we multiply by 3 minus i in the numerator and denominator. What do we get is uh, minus 6i plus 2i square which is minus 2. And here it will be 9 plus 1, 10. So minus 2 by 10 is minus 1 by 5. Minus 6i by 10 is minus 3i by 5. So this will be 
your answer. This is I actually here. This is I. So let us keep till here in today's class. We will discuss more in complex numbers in the next class.